Hi everybody. Do you want to laugh? Do you want a little laugh this Sunday morning? Would you be surprised if I told you that after coming back yesterday, Foodie, um, in that video I posted where Salah was wearing his uh, fluorescent yellow t-shirt and Foodie was in that black a buyer um, and we were treated to all this scintillating conversation and banter between them and the big doos um, but a lot of it was again aimed at her haters and most notably French fried girl that bad bad woman who dared to rescue Foodie's cat from almost certain death. Foodie wanted to decide what was going to happen with BBJ. She had not arranged for anyone to have BBJ to rehome BBJ. She was taking her to the vet on that final day as um, a life, end of life discussion with the vet because she was a 21 year old cat. A 21 year old cat who miraculously was found to be only 17 years old. Big difference, Foodie. Anyway, French fried girl, as we all know by now, her sister-in-law has BBJ. Yes, French fried girl had a hand in it, and thank goodness she did, because up till now, BBJ's had a, a month or so of a happy and comparatively pain-free life quality life and as a cat's life what do they say seven times hours so say two months of a cat's life is the equivalent to 14 months of an adult's life I know that's not don't get coming back at me and saying that's not quite right but you get my drift that that cat has had quality time has had comfort, has had love, has had vet visits, pain medication, snuggles and love on the bed with her new owner, and into the bargain, a Gucci collar. None of your cheap stuff, none of your cheap perfume. So, What did I wake up to this morning? Oh, I just took a picture of myself. Why did I do that? I don't want that. Who oh, no. Delete. That's better. So I woke up and just wasn't even looking at Foodie's channel. It just came up. Somebody else had posted. She's, she's left again. She's gone. I thought, surely not. She'd only just been back hours. But I went to a channel, looked at her community post. Lo and behold, yes, she's gone. Reasons why. Could be all the complaints that have gone into YouTube about her. Could be that the cops have been on the ball with contacting who they need to contact. I don't know what the procedure is and no doubt they'll let me know. Could be to do with um, the petition started by somebody on TikTok that originally was gonna was aiming to get 1,000 signatures 
and is now on the way, well on the way, to getting 5,000 signatures. They've actually took the uh, title of the petition from the title of Booty's uh, Farms when the farms first started following up the original post was entitled more or less word for word uh, the TikTokers have taken it and put on their petition but I don't suppose anybody's bothered about that it would have been nice for the farmers to have been asked maybe I don't know Anyway, I went to Foodie's channel, I went to her community post, and let me read it out to you. How long is it? Right, let's see how long this goes on for. So she starts off. All right, I know you will all laugh at me for this, but I am done. I'm done. Like done, done. Not just taking a break done, never coming back done. I am done with social media, media, period. So I guess she's done. That should have been a paragraph, foodie. Never mind. I'm not your English teacher. I tried to give it another try for those who have reached out to me and love my content. What content? But being back made me realise how badly I hate being a YouTuber anymore. Bad grammar there. Never mind, not your English teacher. You hate being a YouTuber even though you make a six-figure salary. Wow. What other job could you get where you're just sitting on your backside all day, eating and moaning into a camera and you get $26,000 a month? Hmm? Um, right, how badly I hate being a YouTuber anymore. It is not worth it for me anymore. Too any more. My mental health is more important and I will not be on a platform that allows people to profit from bullying and hatred and to steal from creators. Now the latter is what's getting to her people using her footage when she's actually making the video and they are stream sniping as she's talking. To an extent, I can see where she's coming from because if she's making a video, then she's not getting the views, is she? The people who are stream sniping are getting those views. But people don't want to watch your food because you've proved to be the most obnoxious woman, probably, certainly on YouTube, possibly among the most maligned with reason on the planet. So my mental health is more important and I will not be on a platform that allows people to profit from bullying and hatred and to steal from creators. I will leave you all to enjoy, enjoy this crap, toxic community on your own, but I'm out. Bye bye, two fingers. I have also deleted my TikTok. That ne never really got going, did it? I cannot be reached for the time being. So that means not forever then. I need it this way. Comments are disabled, as usual. And there's 277 likes. Take that as you may. Um, 
So she's left again, you guys. She's done. Done. Completely done. What are we going to do? What are we going to do for content? Well, I've been posting a lot of different stuff, as I always have. My channel is not totally about food and beauty, but there's been so much going on with the Nada arc and then the um, sexual abuse allegations, the domestic violence allegations, the toing and throwing between uh, the courthouse, the um, lady who has gone through very bravely and charged Nada and not rescinded her um, allegations. She stood firm. But what's happened is El Shami has managed on how many occasions now? Five, is it? Five occasions to have his court date put back. Why? Because he's a coward. He's a little boy. And he doesn't want to face the music for what he's alleged to have done. See how carefully I'm choosing my words, very carefully, because he goes round striking channels, he goes round hurling abuse, he goes round shouting at people, I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you, with Dee Dee on hand to say the most revolting, disgusting things about somebody's childhood traumas you know what Judy that says a lot about you I had um, some respect for you at the beginning uh, not because you were with him but despite you being with him and I had hopes that you would come see your senses and get yourself away from it you haven't, and you chose to be with this violent person. You've not only chose that way of life, you've embraced it um, down to the LSD. You all know what I'm talking about by now. The LSD and the alleged use of substances. Clearly you must have been high the other night when you were shouting and making obscene gestures into the camera. Surely that isn't the real you, is it, Dee Dee? Is it? Have the substances scrambled your mind? Has living with somebody so volatile and proven to be violent with cases that can be backed up that isn't just alleged that are facts that he served prison sentence for has living with somebody like that who has um when you were crying in videos begging him not to hit you again. Has living with somebody like that gone towards further addling your brain? I don't know. Or are you just a really nasty piece of work to say what you said about somebody who suffered abuse as a child, that they deserved it. No child deserves to be abused. And I can only say, thank you, God. And I say that 
and mean it. Thank you. Making it so that these people, you in Chantal Peach, that you will never, ever procreate. Anyway, that's the news this morning. Food is gone. I guess we can get on to popcorn something next week, which is what I intended to do all along. I'm going to get my... I've brought a pad in. I'm going to show you, just to show Willing here. Oh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all bent up. Put it on the floor. So I've brought a pad into my room to make some notes on so I'm not all over the place and we can get on to popcorn something and a couple of other things that's going to tickle our fancy because that's what I want this channel to be about what it was about initially um, and talking about Alfie and our life and now we've all gotten to know each other a lot more on the live streams and we can talk freely and my mods are blooming fantastic at getting, getting rid of the riffraff and we can all talk comparatively freely so we'll do that tomorrow Monday fresh start who knows what's going to happen with foodie and everything else but it can still be put on the back burner and um, let today I'll have a little bit of a field day posting stuff when my son's gone back and um, and then we'll uh, we'll get on to things that's going to be of more interest to us I'm not saying I'm not going to post about foodie and nada and such like in between it's going to be a habit to break but I think we're all interested in seeing what's going on with them anyway um, that will be left to a couple of short videos a day um, and the rest of the time is going to be focused on what we as a channel our channel what we want and hopefully to bring like-minded people in who are going to enjoy the content and enjoy participating in our little community small but very um worthwhile have a great sunday everybody and uh foodie if you're watching hi speak to you all later <laughs>